coming to sidh i told you sidh is when there is autonomous increased production of adh uh, hormone and uh, some of the examples here tumors and re and remember you may be you may you may be trying to uh, figure out how to remember the causes of sidh i would say three simple re three simple problems i mean three broad categories one is anything wrong in the brain anything wrong in the lungs and the third category would be drugs so just remember this three broad headings and that would cover most of the conditions which would cause sidh so why why cns disorders and lung disorders because they have receptors which can um, you know detect the changes in volume status right there are some baro receptors in the lungs and there are some um, receptors in the brain which can pick up these signals so anything going wrong in the brain or lungs can affect the adh secretion right so any any disorder it doesn't have to be stroke it could be meningitis trauma bleed intracranial hemorrhage anything similarly lung disorders you can have pneumonia tuberculosis lung cancer and among drugs there's a big list of drugs i have mentioned only two here antiepileptics then there is ssris are notorious uh, antidepressants which you use like sertraline and the fluoxetine and all those anti uh, those are serotonin receptor um, reuptake inhibitors so in the post operative in the post operative patient in the hospital what is the, what is the, what is the cause pain right so very common in post operative patients um, uh they we get consultations referrals for these patients for hyponatremia and they need good pain control pain is a potent stimulator of adh hormone similarly stress nausea and some some conditions may be idiopathic and on um, labs low sodium low osmolality obviously because it is comes under hypotonic uh, hyponatremia urine osmolality is not low that's how you um, differentiate from psychogenic polydipsia right in psychogenic polydipsia you're drinking tons of water and 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 also excreting a dilute urine so by whereas in sidh the urine is not dilute urine sodium is not low unlike a patient in unlike a patient with hypovolemic hyponatremia like for example gastroenteritis patient there you would expect a low urine sodium whereas here it is the urine sodium is not low it is more than 30 and very interestingly urea creatinine and uric acid are also low right and we need to rule out um thyroid and adrenal insufficiency hypothyroidism and adrenal insufficiency before you can consider sidh right and make sure you put everything into the clinical context